So good morning, everybody. We are going to start class here, lying down on your backs. So as you're ready, you can make your way <clears throat> to lying down on your back, hugging your knees into your chest and just rocking a little bit right and left right here, side to side. And go ahead and start to make some circles on your back. And going the other direction. And then gently let your knees fall off to the left side. Open your right arm out to the right side. Take a couple big breaths here in through the nose. And back out through the nose. See if you can close your eyes. Stay in that space of quiet. Then come back to center. Let your knees go over to the right. Twist. And maybe closing the eyes, staying in that space of being really quiet right now. As you're ready, coming back to center. And then take your knees into your chest and make some big circles now. Circling in one direction, circling in the other direction. And then go ahead and set your left foot flat. Take your right leg up in the air. And from here, you're just going to circle out your ankle. Grab the back of your leg anywhere, so maybe behind the thigh, knee, or lower leg. And maybe try to extend your right leg down, or left leg down, rather. So you have this nice big stretch here through the right leg. And you're going to lift your head, lift your shoulders off the ground, hug your navel in towards your spine. See if you can float your left heel from the ground and reach your arms forward. Take a big breath, inhale. As you exhale, you're going to switch your legs. All right. Take an inhale. As you exhale, switch your legs. Inhale. Exhale, switch your legs. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Just a couple more like that. If it's a lot, you can always place your head back down on the ground, shoulders down. You can change the variation of your arms if you like. Take a couple more breaths right here. Last round. One more on the right. Switch over to the left and grab the back of your left leg. Set your right foot flat. Circle out your left ankle here. Wiggle your toes. Gonna work it out a little bit. And then as you're ready, go ahead and extend your right leg straight, deepening the stretch through the left leg. Slow breaths into the back of the leg. You might feel a little bit in the front of your right hip. Take another breath right here. Inhale. Stay like that. Go ahead and lift your head and your shoulders once again and reach your arms forward. Take a big breath. Inhale, lift your right heel up. Exhale, switch your legs. Inhale, exhale, switch your legs. Couple rounds, inhale, exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale, switch. Keep going, switching the legs right to left. Just a little bit of time here, warming up the core. Remember, if this is challenging for you, you can always lay your head down on the ground. Shoulders down. A few more breaths, in and out. In. And out. Last side here. You've got right leg, left leg. And with the right leg up and then hug your knees into your chest. Just rock back and forth here a few times. And the 
little circles. And then when you're ready, you're gonna rock and roll yourself all the way up to a seated position. As you come to a seated position, you're gonna bring your hands to your knees. Sit up nice and tall here. Ground down through your sitting bones. Lengthen through the back of your head. Take a few deep breaths in and a few slow breaths back out. Close your eyes. And this morning, I'm curious what it would be like if you spent just one moment here and allowed yourself to focus on all of the things that are creating frustration in your world right now or anxiety or stress. And just take a moment here and kind of bring all of those things, as many of them as possible, to the forefront of the mind and let yourself become really aware of all of the things that are kind of decreasing your vibrational energy. And notice how your body is reacting to even thinking about those things. You might notice that you get a little antsy or you get a little tight in your shoulders or neck or you just, that kind of feel good sensation might start to be moving a little lower, deeper. Even just having these things cluttering the mind and the effects of them. So we're gonna do a little breathing exercise and then we're gonna get into some more physical postures. So this breathing exercise is called Kabbalah Bhati breathing. So what you'll do here is you'll take a breath in and after you take your breath in, you're gonna do several quick exhales where you're really drawing the navel into the spine. And I know it's hard to see right now, but you can place your hand on your belly and see if you can exhale hard out your nose and pull your hand in as you do that. So you go, and then you'll try it again. Take an inhale breath, and then try to do it two times in a row. Take an inhale breath again, and try to do that three times in a row. So we're gonna do that repeatedly. We'll do three full rounds. So I'll guide you into the first inhale, and then at your own pace. And I want you to think about kind of the quality of that drawing in of the abdomen, right? So that sensation versus the speed of it. The speed will happen with practice. Um, we'll do each round for about 30 seconds or so. After each round, in between each round, we'll do a breath retention exercise. So follow along. Take a big breath, inhale right here. Kabbalabhati. as you can fill up all the way as you're completing your inhale you're going to slightly draw your chin back and down engaging jaw and bandha hold your breath pull your navel towards your spine uddiyata bandha and feel like you're squeezing in and up on the pelvic floor mula bandha engaging all three bandhas together maha bandha stay here for a moment and then lift your chin relax exhale all your breath out Again, inhale, big breath. Chin draws in, navel to spine, squeeze your pelvic floor, maha bandha. Slow exhale. 
again, inhale, breath, fill up, fill up, fill up. Chin to chest, navel to spine, lift up on the pelvic floor, engaging through these three big energy locks in the body. And slow exhale. Second round of Kabbalah about deep breathing. Take an inhale breath. Kabbalah Bhati. Engage the bandhas. Exhale, breath. Two more rounds like that. Inhale, breath. Maha bandha. Exhale, breath. One more inhale breath. Mahabanda. Exhale breath. Third and final round of Kabbalah Bhati breathing. So all of those things that you thought about that are creating tension and anxiety. I want you to use this breathing exercise to burn them away, to create this fire, to really burn those things away, to release the toxins and rid the body and the mind of them. Take an inhale breath. Kabbalah Bhakti. Mahabanda. Exhale breath. One more. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. Ujjayi Pranayama. Breathe in through the nose and back out through the nose. Continue that way of breathing as often and as much as possible throughout the practice. As you're ready, you're going to go ahead and come onto hands and knees. Tabletop position right here. Tabletop position. You're going to take an inhale breath. Lift your chest up. Lift your sitting bones high. As you exhale, round and squeeze. Draw the chin in. Inhale, chest up, sitting bones high. Exhale, navel to spine, round squeeze, push into your hands and feet. Just one more like that. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, round squeeze, navel to spine, press back, downward facing dog. As you arrive in down dog, pedal out your feet. Straight right leg, push down. Straight left leg, push down. Take an inhale, breath, lift your right leg in the air, bend the knee. You can reach to the left. 
hug the knee in, make some big circles right here. Take a big inhale breath. Exhale, knee to right arm. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, knee to left arm, get close, tap. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, knee to chest crunch. Step right foot up. Good, bend your knee, runner's lunge, and then straighten your leg. Bend your knee, runner's lunge, and then straighten your leg. One more time, bend your knee, lunge, and then straighten your leg and step forward, top of your mat. Inhale, big toes together, flat back. Exhale to fold forward. On your inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up. Exhale, your hands to your heart and down by your sides. Take an inhale breath, reach your arms back in the air. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, flat palms, step back, top of a push-up plank. Exhale, lower halfway to chaturanga. Inhale to cobra pose, thighs down, point your feet, or up dog, lift the knees, straighten your arms and stack your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale to downward facing dog, hips up. Go ahead and lift your left leg in the air, inhale breath, bend your knee, and make some movements there, work it out. Inhale right here, exhale left knee, left arm. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, left knee, right arm. Push away with your hands. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, knee to chest, step up. Runner's lunge, feet or hip width. Inhale, exhale, straighten your leg. Inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, straighten. So you feel this rocking action. Inhale, exhale, straighten, and then step up top of your mat. Feet together, inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale to rise up, reach your arms up. Exhale your hands to your heart and down by your sides. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, flat palms. Step your feet back, top of a push-up plank. Exhale, lower halfway to chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. And exhale to press back, downward facing dog. Hips up nice and high. Take the right leg in the air. Inhale, big breath, bend your knee, open up your hip. Exhale, right knee, right arm. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale to the left arm. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, crunch knee to chest, step up. This time, high lunge. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Hug your thighs in, lift up on the pelvic floor, high in the back heel, bend your front knee. Take another big breath right here, inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to the ground. You're gonna straighten out your front leg and bump your back leg halfway up, pyramid pose. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, a little twist and fold over. You can walk your hands forward, put your hands on blocks or water bottles. A bunch of books works well. Take another breath here. And step to the top of your yoga mat. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale to fold down. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up. Exhale, your hands to your heart and down by your sides. Again, reach your arms in the air. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Now you can press your palms flat, maybe you jump. Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra or up dog. Inhale, breath. Downward facing dog. Exhale, breath. Take your left leg in the air this time. Inhale, bend your knee. Open up your hip. Exhale, knee to left arm. Crunch. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, knee to right arm. Crunch. Inhale, down dog splits. Exhale, knee to chest. Step up. Feet are hip width apart. High lunge, crescent pose. Arms are going to go in the air. Back heel is high. Front knee is bending deep. Take a big breath in. Exhale your hands to the ground. Straight front leg. Bump your back leg halfway up. Feet are hip width and distance. Inhale. So you exhale a little twist. Fold over your left leg. And walk your arms forward here.
Look forward and step your feet together. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up. Exhale, your hands to your heart and down by your sides. Take a big breath, push your feet down, squeeze your legs, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat palms, you can step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. And exhale, take it back down, we're facing dog. Take your right leg in the air again. Inhale, you're gonna bend your knee, open up your hip. This time, shift forward into a plank position. Come to your right fingertips, teeter to the edge of your back foot. Set your right foot outside of your mat. Inhale, reach your right arm forward. Hug the left shoulder in, take a big breath. Plank position, float your right leg. Inhale, exhale, right knee, right arm. Down dog splits, inhale. Exhale, right knee, left arm. Down dog splits, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Step it up, high lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms in the air. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna shift forward and lift your back leg in the air, warrior three. So if you can draw your navel into your spine, so you feel your lower back broaden, turn your inner knee, inner thigh up, and squeeze right at the base of your seat. Good. Hands can go behind you, maybe interlace, or maybe they stay at the heart. Ground down through your right foot. So feel like you're stretching your toes forward and pushing your whole foot through the ground. Take another breath. Bend your right knee, standing splits, hands to the ground. The left leg does not have to be super high. You just fold in a way that feels, you know, somewhat inviting to your body, also somewhat intense. Take another breath. Step your left foot down to meet your right. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. Again, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump back, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg is gonna lift in the air, inhale right here. As you exhale, bend your knee and reach to the right side. Shift forward, plank position. Left fingertips, start to teeter to the edge of your right foot. Set your left foot down outside of your mat. Reach your left arm forward as you hug your right shoulder in. Flip dog, wild thing, take a big breath. Plank position with the left leg floating, inhale. Exhale, left knee, left arm. Down dog splits, inhale. Exhale, left knee, right arm. Down dog splits, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Step up, high lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, big breath. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart. Lean forward and pick up your back leg. Notice how your knee wants to spin out. You wanna kind of open up the hips to make this easier. So if you can turn your inner knee, inner thigh up, draw your navel in so you feel your lower back broaden. You can stay there, hands at heart, or maybe reach your arms back. Take a couple big breaths. One more. Bend your left knee, hands to the ground. Standing splits, you can grab the back of your leg. Right leg can be as high or as low, and the knees can be bent. So you really want to be compassionate with your body, be kind to your body. Welcome to challenge, as long as it's a healthy challenge. Take a big breath. Step your feet together. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up. Exhale, your hands to your heart and down by your sides. Take a big breath, inhale here. Exhale here. And inhale, bend your knees, squeeze your legs together, sit low and reach your arms up. Utkatasana, hug the ribs in, sink the hips back, take another inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, flat palms, step or jump, or you can come high to the balls of your feet, 
Split your knees outside of your arms, the upper arm area. Hug the arms with your legs. Squeeze your legs towards your middle. Squeeze the middle of your body towards the ceiling. Shift your chest over your fingers and then squeeze the backs of your legs to see if you can pick up those toes, bakasana. Stay and breathe. Push away with your hands. Equal weight distribution through all 10 fingers. Chaturanga, step or hop back. Inhale. Down dog, exhale, breath, hips up nice and high. Stick the right leg up in the air. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, crunch, knee to chest. Step it up, high lunge, crescent pose. Inhale, reach your arms in the air. As you exhale, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart. Shift forward and lift your back leg in the air, warrior three. From here, you're gonna bring your left hand out to a block, the floor, your water bottle, you have some, some other random item you can use for a prop, do it. And you're gonna take this left leg and you're gonna pull it hard over to the right so it tracks right behind your hip. Right hand to your hip or up to the sky, turning to the right side, this is revolved half moon. Squeeze at the base of your left seat, squeeze the quad to straighten your leg, hug the inner thighs and pelvic floor in and up. Make your spine long first and then rotate. Twist should always feel therapeutic, never crunchy, never ouchy, none of that stuff. Take a big breath, standing splits. Inhale, big lift of your leg. Exhale, step your feet together. Flat back, inhale. Fold over, exhale. Inhale, come on up to standing. Reach your arms in the air. And exhale, your right arm on the bottom, left arm on the top. Eagle wrap your arms. Now stay like that. You know, bend your knees and sit low into this Ukatasana position. Squeeze your thighs in right here. And take your right leg around your left leg, eagle wrap. Take your knees and shift them back underneath your navel, hugging that right hip back. Squeeze your thighs in and turn them down so you can sink your hips a little deeper. Feel like you're pressing your shoulders and the back of your head up against a wall. Take another breath, push your forearms forward, maybe lift those elbows a little higher. One more right here, in and back out. Good, inhale, come to standing, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift up. Exhale, flat palms, step, jump, or arm balance back. Maybe you wanna try a few little hops. You can keep your shoulders stacked over your wrists. You can come high to the balls of your feet. Bend your knees, maybe froggy hops, legs wide. Maybe you bend your knees, try to tuck, tap knees to chest, shift your hip over your shoulders. You can do a couple rounds, and then when you're ready, maybe down dog or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, breath. Cobra or up dog, and then exhale to downward facing dog. Hips up nice and high. Inhale, exhale. Left leg goes up, inhale, exhale, knee to chest, crunch, step up. Feet bump, hip width apart, inhale, high lunge, reach your arms in the air. Take a big breath right here, exhale your hands to your heart. You're gonna lean forward and pick up your back leg, warrior three. As you come up to a warrior three, you're gonna release your right hand down to the ground, block, floor, stack of books, Hug the right leg over to the left, turn the kneecap down. Turn your chest to the left, reach up with your left arm, revolved half moon. Squeeze at the base of your right seat and then squeeze that quadricep to get the leg a little straighter. Lengthen your spine and then rotate. Take just another breath right here. Standing splits folded in. Take an inhale, lift your leg high. Exhale, set your left foot down to meet your right. Flat back, inhale, fold over as you exhale. Inhale, rise to standing, reach your arms up. Exhale, your left arm on the bottom, right arm on the top, make a big X and then crisscross your forearms and your wrists. Go ahead and bend your knees and sit low, squeeze your thighs in and down. And then lift up your left leg around your right leg, eagle wrap. Bring your knees back underneath your navel, drawing your left hip back. Feel like you're pressing your shoulders and your head up against the walls. You lift your forearms higher. Take a couple more breaths right here. In through the nose and back out through the nose. Turn your thighs in 
and then sit deeper. Use your abdominals to help you stabilize by drawing the navel in and the ribs down. Take another breath. Inhale, stand up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Step, hop, jump back. Maybe you bend your knees. Try those little froggy hops. Maybe tuck jumps when you're ready. Maybe do a couple push-ups this time. Chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Hips up nice and high. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. Step up. This time you're going to spin your back heel flat. Inhale, come up to a warrior B position. So your front foot is lined up with your back foot approximately at the arch. Maybe a little closer to the heel is fine. Front knee at a 90 degree angle would land right over the ankle. If this is hard on the inner thigh or anything, you can always stay up a little bit higher. Otherwise, get deep into that front leg. Press through the outer edge of your back foot so your back leg is doing a lot of work as well. Arms extend from the front to the back of your mat. Gaze is right over your front middle finger. Stay here and breathe. Three. Two. Last breath. And inhale, reach up, reverse warrior. If it feels good, you can strain your front leg on the way up. Think about reaching up and then towards the back. Next inhale, breath bend, your front knee fits straight, reach forward. Side angle pose, forearm to thigh, or hand down to a block or the floor, inside or outside of your foot. Left arm can reach forward, as long as it doesn't bother your shoulder or your neck. If it does, you can always leave your hand on your hip, put your hand at the back of your head, or let it rest behind you. Variation of your choice, you can look at your palm, maybe straight out to the side if that feels better on your neck or down. You have two breaths here. Last one. Half moon, walk forward and pick up your back leg. Can you reach your left arm out still? Can you hug your outer right hip back? And as you hug the outer right hip back, push through the inner arch of your foot to help you balance and stabilize. Spin your chest over to the left side. Take another two breaths here, short and sweet. Last one. Bend your right knee, step back. Inhale, come up like a warrior bee and pull your front leg straight. Turn your back leg in a little bit. Pull this right hip way back. Inhale, reach out over your toes. Exhale your hand to your shin, your ankle, your foot. Block or floor. And this time we'll take the left arm behind the back if that's available. And turn and look up. Maybe look down. Maybe circle your head and stretch your neck out a little bit. Draw the shoulders on the back. Hug the ribs and the pelvis towards each other. And rotate a little more. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then you're going to release the hands to the mat. Pigeon pose right side. Take your shin across your mat. Slide your back thigh down. And you're going to fold forward. We're going to stay here for just several breaths. And see if now that you've created some space and started this detoxifying process, the burning away, the ridding of all of that stress and anxiety, rather than filling back up with any of those thoughts, maybe, just maybe you can focus on some of the things in your life that do bring joy and happiness. Oftentimes, what seems like it's the most relevant takes up the most amount of space. And so if we can shift our attention into recognizing things that are relevant, that are joyful and happy and what we are grateful for, then that will take up more space. And then we will feel good. Breath here. 
And go ahead and press your palms down to the ground. Step back, lay onto your belly here. And now reach your arms back. Palms are gonna face each other. You can interlace your fingers. Legs can be together apart, whatever's more comfortable for your hips. Lift your head, shoulders, and chest as high as you can. Squeeze that upper back so the shoulder blades come in and down. And then see if maybe you want to float your legs up. Squeeze right there at the base of your seat. Turn your inner knee up. Take another big breath. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Push back up to that tabletop and move organically however it feels good. If you like some hip circles or full body circles, if you like to do cat cows, maybe you like to try to do some figure eights or like you're stretching everything out. Take another breath and then we'll go to down facing dog. Hips up nice and high. Stick that left leg in the air. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, step up, high lunge, crescent pose. Um, let's spin the back heel flat, actually. Warrior B. Sorry about that, you guys. Come on up. Warrior B position. Front foot is going to align with your back foot, heel to heel or heel to arch. You're going to stretch your arms from the front to the back of your mat. Front knee is over that front ankle. Stay here and breathe. Navel to spine, two. Just one more. Inhale, reverse warrior. Maybe pull your front leg straight. And next, inhale, breath bend your front knee. Reach forward, side angle pose. Forearm and thigh, hand can be inside or outside. Take your right arm, reach it forward. If that bothers your shoulder or your neck on the side, option to place your hand on your hip or back of the head. So you're just taking some of that more dramatic angle out of the shoulder joint itself. Maybe you're rotating it, bringing the arm behind the back. A couple more breaths right here. Pull the ribs and the pelvis together and then spin and rotate to the right side. One more. And then bump it up to half moon. Can you keep reaching your right arm forward as you lift your back leg in the air? Hug that outer left hip back and as you do that, push your big toe in the inner arch of your front foot down. Use your outer hips to open the legs here. Take another big breath, navel in. One more. And go ahead and bend your knee and step back. Warrior B, straighten your front leg. Turn your back leg in on the diagonal. As you reach forward, you're gonna pull that left hip way back. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Left hand down, right arm up. Triangle pose, you can release the hand behind the back. And try not to put a ton of effort to, you're not shoving your arm back there, but it's laying rather loosely. And then you can turn your gaze down here. Draw both shoulders onto the back and then maybe make some circles with your chin. And then turn your head to the left or the right. Or gaze up or back a little bit. So you're going to stretch your neck out if that feels good for you. If you find a sweet spot, hold and breathe. Take another breath right here. And then go ahead and release your hands to the ground. Pigeon pose. Take your shin across your mat. Foot is close to your right hip. Back thigh goes down. And you can bring your elbows down. You can stack pillows underneath you. Lay on them. Pillows underneath your bum. And then returning Returning to that idea of joy and happiness. Burning away all of the lower vibrational frequencies. And as we kind of declutter and kind of recognize how much attention we're giving to certain things, we can make these conscious choices about whether or not we want to continue to do that. So am I constantly focusing on this one aspect, this one section, this one road, right? Versus this kind of broader and bigger picture. Last breath. 
Go ahead and come up onto your hands. Step back, come up onto your knees. Ustrasana camel pose. Knees are gonna come a comfortable hip width distance or maybe slightly closer. Feet can track behind or be slightly wider if that feels comfortable. Bring the hands to the back of your hips right here. Hips are gonna press forward just a touch. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Stretch out the waistline, lift your chest, lift your chin. Stay here and breathe for three. Or two. Last one. Inhale, come back up. And then exhale, press back to a downward facing dog. Last down dog of class, inhale, breath. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump to a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees apart. And bring your thumbs to your feet. Give yourself a little foot massage right here. If you've been practicing online with me at all over the last week, you know that this is something that we've been doing every time. And the reason I'm in love with doing a little foot massage is one, it feels good, to be honest. Two, we tend to get very heady, very cloudy. And this is a good way to pull energy into our feet. I also recommend taking your mat outside practicing outside if you can. Maybe it's nice weather, go take a walk. Maybe you can take your shoes off in the grass. Maybe you can do some gardening, plant some basil or some flowers or something. And then go ahead and stretch your legs forward. And shake out your legs right here. And then belly to thighs. So if you can't do it with straight legs, you're bending your knees. Give yourself a little hug and fold. You can straighten your legs. Great, do it. Cross your legs, sit comfortably. You can bring your hands to your knees long through the spine. Breathe in, breathe out nice and slow. Let your breath return to a natural state. And take this opportunity here and be really purposeful and intentful with these last few moments. And make a mini list in your mind three things that have happened from the moment you woke up till this moment right now that you're grateful for, that have brought joy into your life that you're happy about. It can be anything. This is where our time together ends today. If there's any final postures you'd like to add in, any floor work, any back bends, or take a nice long shavasana, I invite you to do so. You can also take your list and go write it down somewhere. And if you feel like you're getting stressed out or anxious about anything, read your list and then add to it again, maybe middle of the day and later on this evening. If you're feeling really stressed out, you can do that Kabbalah breathing, burn away those negative thoughts, those feelings, that low vibrational frequency. Namaste.